Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, rookie of all, this is Brother Muhammad, live in Mecca. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring those who are those who have been making dua and yearning to be able to come here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitate and pave that way for you and make you of those that he called for Hajj and Umrah. I mean. This is uh, today's topic, as we were talking about, is going to be about the Asik Jinn. The Asik Jinn, uh, that's the topic today. This is my Sheikh, Alhamdulillah. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a, I mean, he's a student in the, in here, mashallah. So today, topic is going to be Asik Jinn and um, how to deal with it and stuff like that. Because it is seen that many people are afflicted with this kind of gene. In English, they will call it the lover gene. The gene that comes to your life and is like, I love you and stuff like that, you know. So, like I used to say, for them, what you think of love is different from what they think it is love. For their love is forceful. For their love is slavery. For their love is ownership. That's how they see it. They see that they own you. They can do whatever they want to do with you. They are perverts. They just take you as their sex slave and stuff. So you have to be wise. You have to not. You you have to fight to the core. So you don't have to be negligent about it. This is a war that you have to face. So this is an enemy here that comes and try to ruin your life. Let's start from the woman. It is seen that to my experience is like majority of the women they have the acid gene more common than the men that's how i see it i see it like you have more acid gene in the women than the men the men they have but to be honest from my experience what i see from the women who have acid gene is something that i can't count almost in my rook here maybe statistically uh maybe 75 percent maybe it's all related to acid stuff you have black magic so a few cases but acid is like one of the common so today i want to talk about that and also how to help yourself inshallah first of all if you are a woman the asik jeans they will try to find a way you know to come to your life you know alhamdulillah many of the women they are gifted they are blessed with beauty this is why you should take care of yourself and you know you have to cover yourself because if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comment Whatever he commands in the Quran, that is for your own benefits. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, Ya ayuha nabi, yu kulli aswajika wa banatika wa nisail mu'minina yudnina alayhinna min jalabibihin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he says, Thalika adna ayu arafu na fala yudna. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O Prophet, tell your wife, tell your daughters, and tell the Muslim women, huh? Yudnina alayhinna min jalabibihinna Let them cover their self with their jilbab Meaning from up to down You have to cover yourself And let's say that is better for them To be recognized as Muslims So that they will not be like abused and stuff If a woman wear a different kind of clothing And he goes to the way What do you think that all this, the, the men who are some like the perverts What do you think they will do? They will try to harass her They will try to seduce her Huh? It's more like a temptation. So you have to be careful. You have to know exactly how to take care of yourself. Cover yourself. Uh -huh. You have to know that the, the way the human beings are looking at you and they are saying you are beautiful, that's how the jeans are also looking at you and saying that you are beautiful and the jeans are different. They will try to follow you to your home. If you are someone who is not doing your adhkar, you get sexual dreams. How many women are having sexual dreams? It's a lot. You keep having the same sexual dream. And I can mention the signs here. If you have an acid gene that possess you, sometimes they may not possess you, but they will just come in your dream. Some they will possess you. Those are the ones that want to control you and separate you from the people. When they possess you, they make you upset. They make you hate everyone. They make you not get married. Anybody who want to get married to you, Next minute you are like, you know what, I'm no more interested in stuff. And this is the kind of problem they're facing. They're having a headache, their body is hot, they are sick, they're having back pain. 
and some their menstruation is not regular some who are even married they get having frequent miscarriages they fight with their husbands without no reason and stuff and some you know there's a lot of problem if you if, and also some accidents they don't only control the woman but they also control the man who want to come and get married to the woman these are the kind of men you see they will come to the woman and they are interested the next day they just run you will never see them again stuff like that as a genes, they play they are one of the most stubborn genes that the majority of the people are facing with men's also they have this problem some men's they have acid gene you know they are being flamboyant sometimes you are a good person and it's not like you are sewing off or wearing bad clothes the oxygen oxygen don't care you know but it's just a piece of advice that uh, don't be so flamboyant don't be flamboyant to make the oxygen to come to your life so you have to be careful and know that the oxygen don't care uh, whether you are a president minister son of a rich person daughter of a rich person i don't care about that or you are a kid you are a baby they want to they, they don't care as long as you are human being they can process they will come to you so my advice is that um do your azkar do your azkar and um and one thing that comes to my mind many people are complaining that you know I'm not having job, I'm not having this, my life is difficult, and this and that, I can't be with people, people be betray me and stuff. Many a times the Asians, they want you to be they want you to be far away from everybody somehow. They just don't want you to be closer to the people. You know? They don't even want you to make friends. You know? They don't want you to be to be wealthy or stuff like that. How to help yourself with Asian. Read your Afghan, do the dream killing. Do Rupia. Majority of the times in Rupia you can catch them, okay? Especially if they possess you. So if you know that the situation is too big for you to handle, there's nothing wrong with looking for a Rafi for him to read for you. Okay? So, uh, I mean uh, an authentic Rafi, someone who is not into Judo Jano or working with jeans or someone who is a pervert or someone who is taking the the the, the the entire saving of people. No, see, I'm not talking about stuff, people like this. Someone who fear Allah, someone who, um, someone who will not take everything from you, but uh, he will just take his cup and know that this is what you can afford and not something that you give and then you start crying. So, inshallah, it's very difficult now to find a authentic rabbi this has been a big problem now this is why the uh, even the messiah they are encouraging people to do self rupiah huh? even me this is this is why i keep also teaching people to be doing self rupiah because there are some people they don't live i'm not living in the same country with them and we are we can't be in touch so i have to teach them how to do self rupiah so that they can help themselves you know except maybe through video call that's something that i do also inshallah now do your azkar okay do your azkar and uh, look for olive oil and read quran and blow on it and apply on your body before going to bed uh-huh you can read fatiha and uh, the three calls i think you'll see i'm an asulu read was easy for you blow on the what uh, the olive oil how many times just read was easy for you and then before going to bed apply it on yourself i had a patient before she used to be like at night it's like this gene will come to rape her and then uh, when i read on the olive oil she applied on her body alhamdulillah when the olive oil the shaitan she came uh, it, it, it burned it um, she, uh, the shaitan could not touch her because the quran is recited on the oil so it burns the, the gene when he touch when he tried to touch her he ran away. So read on the olive oil and don't go to bed without reading your azkar. And uh, you can do the dream killing, as I always mention. It's a very wonderful weapon. May Allah reward you and Abdul Rahman Halimo. We get to learn this from him. That you read, Aina Matakunu Yati Bikumullah, who Jami Ali Nallah, Ala Kulishayim Qadir, in Surah Al Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 148. That wherever you are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring you all together because Allah has power over all things. Yes, you read this several times until you know that you have read enough 
with the intention of Allah bringing you this evil jinn and you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you the power so that you can be able to kill this jinn and bismillah when you do that this jinn will die if the time comes inshallah one day you will even see maybe you fight with the jinn and stuff like that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you all victory in your quest there are also other methods for people who have been possessed um, alhamdulillah alhamdulillah um, alhamdulillah so far there are a lot of methods that I have been teaching in the group. It's left to the people now to try to do their best of, uh, to do some of these methods because it's helpful. That is what I do for my treatment program. The incense method is there. Use it, inhale, put in the, uh, the, 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 the charcoal and uh, let the, inhale the smoke, close your eye, cover your head. This will suffocate the gene in you and also to remove the energies, the dark energies the gene put in you you will start feeling light and be able to sleep at night alhamdulillah and also the lotion method the mixture is also in the group check it out those feeling pain in the stomach some jeans they like to live in the stomach or they feed you in the dream or maybe there's a syrup they gave you you ate uh, whether from the gin or the family and uh, when you drink sina you recite the quran and you blow on the water and then you drink inshallah hot water early in the morning with the sina the sina method is there check it out okay the indian costus method the genius don't like it drink it is fine sniffing it can be difficult but if you add with olive oil and uh, read and blow on it and then you slide in your nostril let it go in your head and burn any gin that is living in your head to go out and then you sneeze inshallah a lot of methods alhamdulillah for those having see here you see the and then seven leaves if it is the powder use maybe two pinch or three pinch or one teaspoon mix in the water and read the verses there are some in fact there i have made verses in the arabic for those who can read in the english i have also made transliteration for those who can read in arabic alhamdulillah 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 i did my best to be able to give the best option for the people to do their best that's the best i could do somehow so use it for your best advantage and the rupee are also odious i am sharing it for free for anybody who needs it just my number i will put on the comment section here for my number whoever wants it message me and i will send it to you at whatsapp and alhamdulillah my youtube channel is there also whereby i do some rupee of life uh, in fact some of the facebook in fact is there some videos also to talk to you how to help yourself and alhamdulillah alhamdulillah just follow the information just don't scroll if you are someone who is looking for solution you want to learn also watch the videos share it and then let people benefit don't watch it alone and just think that maybe there is someone at the corner who needs this more than you by you sharing it he come across this and he's like alhamdulillah so share the videos I, I don't mention this i don't mention like share videos or like and no, no no that's not my aim here my aim is let's share the knowledge so you share it the best you could do others can benefit also the prophet وسلم, what did he say you know he says that you, the people who were present when he was delivered in his last khutbah so that they can also khutbah al is taken so that they can also tell it to the others who were not present perhaps you know those who are not present may understand it more than those who are present so share the message that others benefit so this is for today's topic the asik and inshallah if you want me to do another video and other topic just put in the comment section and then inshallah we'll be making such videos like this so that people can benefit inshallah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us good ending in this dunya and the akhirah and give us the best and help us all and give shifa to those who are afflicted and those who are looking to get married may allah grant you good spouses males and females i mean your alameen those who are looking for kids may allah grant you good offsprings i mean your alameen those looking for job may allah give you halal job halal job no don't look for haram job haram job when you have haram job you live it in haram you eat in haram you live in haram your dua is not accepted and is the worst as hadith i even read is mentioned that any flesh or body that is being um is been feeding and is growth and in the haram will go to hell the fire will burn it when i was so don't be of someone who live in the haram and then you're doing haram and stuff may allah protect us and give us the best in the dunya and the akhirah
واخر دعوانا عن الحمد لله رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك